What's up, everybody? It's d -Lo from The Stuff of Legend. I have a video I wanted to make today about some upcoming changes to my channel and to uh, my schedule. I think some of you guys who have been watching um, more consistently know that I'm about to have my fourth kid right now. So this week is going to get really, really busy. For those of you guys who have been watching faithfully and looking forward to my videos, I appreciate you guys. Channels Hot Topics and I are talking all the time in the comments, and I appreciate you guys bearing with me as my schedule, again, has been very sporadic. My promise was to do a video every single day, and unfortunately, that has not been possible. I've been trying to get, get around to doing that. There's been several things that have prevented me from doing that, and then I found myself the last couple of weeks um, realizing that there was that, that the, I guess, I guess the way to say it is the, the original intention for my channel was to talk about the things that I loved. And one of the things that I said in my videos, um, and on my, on my YouTube cover, uh, on my intro video was that I'm not a critic. I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to just set out to be a critic of, that's not my goal. That's not what I like doing. It's not what I enjoy. I like to get excited. I like to be inspired by the stories of the comics and the characters that we've all grown up loving and looking up to and, and um, relating with so much of the struggle of these characters like Peter Parker. And, you know, for some Tony Stark, for some it's Batman for some it's Superman, but there's usually somebody out there that you can relate with and you can, can connect with because of the struggles and the stories that they have usually stories about family, loss, suffering, pain, but overcoming and uh, doing it and, and doing it in a way that that gives that character purpose that they were that they were searching for before. That's something that almost everybody can connect with. And it has nothing to do with like, for instance, what the one of the big pushes in comic books and film and TV lately that has been such a bummer to me has been this very, very um organized push across the board comics tv film um to make the premise of every character what is on the surface it's very superficial stuff. it's race it's gender and it's things that they 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 want to identify with but force that identity onto everybody else it's like i am this you you have to recognize me as this whereas the comic book characters that we all grew up in and loved before were they were not great because they were pushing their identity on everyone else. They were great because they were going out and trying to help others. They were great because despite their flaws, despite their tragedies, despite the things that they were dealing with in their private life, it wasn't about making that known. It wasn't about it wasn't about them finding their identity. It was about them finding their purpose. And their purpose gave them identity. It wasn't the other way around. It wasn't their identity gave them purpose. And, and that to me has been the biggest bummer with, with movies and TVs shows lately is that they all have been pushing what is called critical race theory. I'll let you guys do your own research effectively. And from what I can tell you based on what I know about it, through my study is that it removes individual identity from the person that the theory is proposed to the individual who reads about it, learns about it and studies it. They're teaching this stuff in schools nowadays as if it's truth. And they interweave it with everything. They interweave it with history. They, instead of teaching the facts of what happened in history, the dark facts, the, the happy facts, all the facts, and just letting the chips fall where they may as the student may interpret it, they put their spin on it. This is what is also happening. In this is why they're sucking. And unfortunately, the priority seems to have gone away from making stories that people can relate with and trying to push this critical race theory agenda on everybody. I know this is getting into the realm of politics, but it's not my fault that it's there. It's already there because they're pushing this and this is what is there. And um and I think a lot of a lot of younger viewers who are who who grew up during the age of critical race theory in public schools, this may seem like something that is like, why are you freaking out about this? It's so normal. It's not normal. Very not normal. The Marxist ideology that has been 
pushed on you, unfortunately, your generation, and the, the latter stages of mine, millennial, um, the latter stages of millennialism, the college ages for uh, and, and all of you guys grew up after us, um, grew up in a world that was just flooded with this everywhere. It might seem normal, but it's and, um, and I feel sorry for you guys. I don't want to be a bummer, but that's also why I need to have this conversation about my channel is if you guys look back at my channel, you can see from a long, long time ago when I started this, and I think it was the end of 2017 going into 20 that I was so pumped and so excited about the stories that were coming out. And I, I loved, I love so much of the Marvel cinematic universe. I still do. Um, a lot of the star Wars that, that. Actually, I love I love pretty much all the Star Wars except for the sequel trilogy. That's that's pretty much the facts. And there's like there was a little bit uh, there's I guess plenty to complain about with Solo, but everything else in the Disney era I have no problem with. Like the Rogue One, Mandalorian, Clone Wars, Rebels, Bad Batch. There's a couple of the other shows that definitely are pushing CRT and just trying to make everything about your your outward appearance, your immutable traits, the things you can't even you didn't have any achievement in and you didn't you can't you can't change it you know and they're trying to tell you today that you can can't and uh you can only you can only meddle with what you have you can't change it other things um which is sad and this is something that they don't want you to say something that they don't want people like me to be able to say and i've been grinding away on youtube and um and in my of course it's a spare time thing it's been a hobby this year um a lot of you guys have noticed I've been I've been kind of spotty with the videos. Instead of doing it every seven days, it's been every almost almost twelve days, like pushing two weeks, pushing two weeks, pushing two weeks. Then there was a couple of times where I missed two weeks and I got to three weeks. And just now, this is the first time in a month that I've made a video. It's because honestly, entertainment is not entertaining anymore to me. There's so much of it that and I, I actually Recently, I had switched to pretty much PC gaming with my wife and a couple of friends on a game night and that sort of thing, and that's been really fun. Um, but again, it's not it's not something that it's it's not that passion that I grew up loving because those stories meant something inspirational. I know it was fiction, of course, it's not real, but the lessons that were being taught were valuable because there was truth in. Them. Unfortunately. The writers that are hired to do the story writing today do not have morals. They don't have a moral standard. And that's the problem, is that there's no, there's no more morality. And the things that they try to claim are their moral lessons in stories are actually not morals. They're narcissism, focusing on yourself, trying to get everyone else to think about you and what you want them to call you and what your pronouns are. It's all about me, 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 me from that character's perspective. I mean, we're supposed to, like, uh, I guess, idolize these narcissists that they're creating for us these days. The, the comic books that they're, that they're trying to push out that keep getting shot down by the fans because they're trash, like the Daniel Kibblesmith new, uh, what is it, new, new Warriors? Trash. And they're trying to, they're trying so hard to get this stuff rolling and it's not just marvel it's dc it's not just those guys it's also star wars all these all these beloved franchises that shaped who i am you can see the wall behind me i'm not just some i'm not like i'm not not a fan i'm a huge fan of marvel dc star wars lord of the rings power rangers um avatar last airbender like all these cartoons that i grew up watching and then i'm a 90s kid i grew up in the 90s i watched 90s cartoons 2000s I haven't really stopped. There's, I mean, we, we all are subscribing to Disney plus, although I sub, I support your right to cancel. Um, it's, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for the Dave Filoni stories and the John Favreau's of the world who genuinely just want to give you a good time. I'm grateful that Chris Pratt made the tomorrow war because even though there's timeline continuity problems with the story, they didn't focus on it too much because they were literally just there to try to give you a good time and entertain you. And that I really appreciated. It was refreshing to have that Kong versus uh, uh, Godzilla versus Kong, a great time in theaters, and I hope that they continue that. You know, uh, Joker, 
even though it had some some you know white socialist undertones was i thought handled really well i disagree with socialism entirely but i didn't mind it because the film was still designed to entertain and i can look past that if the focus is where it needs to be. and it was and so like there's lots of things like that i do i do want to talk about and i do want to um, engage with you guys and there's a flash movie coming up that daniel hot topics has been begging me to talk about the problem is that i can't even i can't trust that these studios that are pushing critical race theory on everyone jamming it down their throats is going to put that aside and give us a good time because it's been a long time since they've done that They're, that's been their that's been their push and so to me i'm trying to figure out how i cannot be a debbie downer like i am in this video and still do this channel. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to just be negative. I don't like to be negative. I like to be positive. And my nature is to be encouraging. My nature is to be kind. And I know that truth is irrespective of kindness. You can have it with kindness, but it's not reliant on kindness. Truth is truth. And a lot of, a lot of what we're seeing today is full of lies. And, um, and I was just thinking about it and I want to, I want to try to find a way that I can continue. But also, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm about to have a baby. And that's actually been a huge reason why not just the discouragement of entertainment today, but also, uh, I'm actually, you know, I'm quite busy. We're like trying to get our like bunk bed set up for our older kids, get the rooms changed. You know, like, um, you know, my wife's tired a lot. I am tired as well. Cause I, I work, I have a full-time job and this is a hobby on, um, and I enjoy it greatly, but there's also other things that I'm, that I'm doing. Uh, in addition to that, I have, I have quite a bit of friends. I'm trying to, you know, spend time with, and collect. um, especially during, you know, 2021, 2020, um, you know, people, people need to be together. People interact. They need, we need each other. And so I'm trying to balance all these things in a healthy way. Also it's been a long time since I've focused on my health and my fitness. That's something I'm trying to cycle back to I started with my diet and thankfully I've been able to stay on top of that for the last and a half four weeks and I've seen some results which is great I'm going to continue that I'm going to turn it into a lifestyle because I've got it got, I'm, I have four kids now I've got to live long enough to see kids into adulthood and that sort of thing and obesity is dangerous so I may not look obese, but pretty heavy um I appreciate you know guys giving me the chance to do that i just hit 802 subscribers by the way and i am really really happy about that and i'm so excited and so i don't want you guys to think that i'm like quitting youtube i'm not quitting but i can't guarantee my schedule right now especially having a fourth baby on the way um it's going to be it's going to be a lot to manage with uh the three kids my wife making sure she's good she's taken care of she's feeling loved and and everything that needs to happen with family and then also taking care of the baby. So it's going to, it's going to get kind of busy, but I appreciate you guys. Um, I actually made a new banner on my channel, which you can check out. If you go to uh, the stuff of legend, um, YouTube, you will see the banner now says live streaming on break back soon. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to be thinking up content, making content or making, uh, plans for videos, which I will be. And I actually do have several plans for videos. Again, it's just about the time it's going to take to make those. So I'm going to try to make some of these videos evergreens um, as opposed to a lot, a lot of the news. Because as soon as, as soon as the news hits, you have to report it. Otherwise, you, it, it's irrelevant. No one on it. And fortunately, that's just the way that it goes. But if you, can, if you make evergreen content, like for instance, certain fan castings, um, those are for fun videos that are not necessarily linked to any particular time period. They might be more popular when something gets announced, but at the same time, um, I've had videos that there's been no news for at all, and they're growing into the thousands of views, which is great. And um, it's a lot of fun for me to make those things, and I love fan casting, and I want to I want to do more of that. But I just wanted to um, I just wanted to run some some of those ideas past you guys. I appreciate you guys being lenient with me on the scheduling, um, and do please continue. Just comment. Comment, 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 because I, I still have my phone. I'm still going to be able to respond to your replies and your, and your um, well, yes, email as well. But uh, I don't get a lot of those. So as far as um, 
as far as communication between us. You can either DM on Instagram, you can comment on Instagram or comment on YouTube. And those things I do see because it'll ping me, I just reply. And I try to get to all those in a timely fashion. I really appreciate um, you guys taking the time to hear me on this one. Um, just to recap, I guess, um, uh, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to talk too much on the stuff that I'm not happy about. Unfortunately is a lot of things right now because this enormous push, um, for critical race theory. And we can have conversations about that. If you guys want if you guys ask me about these things, I will make a video for you. It's just, again, schedule is really rough. So it might take a little bit of time. I might, it might be better to reply to you individually. I will try to make videos if I can, uh, just talking like this, maybe I'll upload. I may not be able to do lives as much. Maybe I do. Maybe I, maybe I won't, but, um, I'll just try to keep, I'll try to, uh, come up with some ideas for you guys. But anyway, videos and streams will be uh, less frequent because of the schedule. And I, I do want to thank every single person um, who has subscribed to my channel and supported me thus far over the years. Thank you so much for your likes, for the views, for the subscriptions. I want to give a very special thanks to Daniel's Hot Topics. Um, you've been a very good friend to me on this channel. I really appreciate you always, always reaching out and, um, and, and, sub and submitting topics to me, keeping me in the loop with a lot of the DC news. I know that that's probably your favorite is the DC news. Um, lots of Marvel stuff too. I know, and Star Wars, so you're very much like me in that. Uh, so thank you so much. And do keep talking with me in the comments because I'm not gone and the channel's not gone. It's just I'm, I'm going to figure out my schedule. That might take some time because I've got my fourth kid on the way. I appreciate you guys. Um, so keep keep messaging. Thank you so much, Daniel's Hot Topics. Another special thanks to Yoda Weeby. You know who you are, my man. I appreciate you. You're my, you're my friend. You're my brother. I know you in person. And um, I, I probably would not have, I would not have come this far in my channel so, uh, so far, especially production wise, without your help. And I, I really appreciate all the things that you've given to me, donated to me to make this channel better. You're the man, and I really appreciate you, Dust. So, uh, Nerdy Blurb TV, special thanks to you and Comic Man Jake, um, two amazing YouTube channels as well. I know that you guys have kind of slowed down the production of videos. Um, also, but you guys mean the world to me. You guys are bros and, um, you guys have supported me many times on screen and behind the screen, behind the scene. So, um, I love you guys. You guys are bros to me as well. The fan casting community has been awesome. I've really, really been so, so proud and honored to have been a part of the fan casting community up till now. And I do have plans, lots of plans for more fan casting projects but like i mentioned nuts schedules been nuts um and i expect it'll get more nuts so i'm gonna have to just dial in when i can make that those things possible i'm gonna try to like really uh reg my time during the week weeknights uh weekends that thing and balance that with my wife and friends um and church and all that stuff so uh, it means a lot to me all of you guys out there in the fan casting community, you guys rock. Um, and uh, I will be making more projects and inviting you guys. I hope that in the future, you guys would also join that. Um, it'd be a lot of fun. Um, and then, of course, uh, my biggest supporters, my family, my mom, my dad, um, my siblings, my church, and, of course, uh, most importantly, my wife um, and my kids who tune in and who have supported me our time uh emotionally spiritually and just been there for me as my date l so this is not goodbye this is just hang tight because my schedule um so everyone i hope that you guys have a great rest of your day or night i'm going to be coming up with content and uh trying to work out the schedule thank you so much and uh perhaps short form videos are going to have to be the from here forward but i appreciate you, you guys rock and stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legend.